Hey gang, Jason here uh, with For the Love of Tractors doing another uh, quick little new tractor review, if you will. So today we're taking a look at the 164 scale Cat Challenger MT875E by Speccast. And I am super excited for these tractors. I'm really happy Speccast has gotten into the 164th market. Um, they are doing amazing work, and this tractor is pretty high on the list of best tractors to come out in quite a while. Um, I know this is a, a little bit older model now uh, at the time I'm doing this, but you know a lot of people still might be looking for these or or whatever. Um, so you know, like I said, this is the 875E. So um, this tractor is, I believe, 580 engine horsepower and 425 PTO horsepower. Just in case you're wondering, um, so you know this is this is a workhorse. So you're gonna want a, a big toy implement to pull behind this bad boy. So uh, let's just dig right in and take a look at some of the details. So I guess first and foremost is uh, we can raise the hood and check out the engine. We've got some radiator detail. It even has a little bit of a meshing there. I think that's awesome. They did such a good job. Um, you know we can see the cool engine under here you can see the turbochargers there's a little bit of detail there I mean it's just such a well done model I'm really happy with it um, the front end we get uh, this cool weight rack and you also get some uh, I guess those are supposed to be weights uh, side weights on the side they're maybe not as detailed but they still look great uh, the rest of the Oops, the rest of the detailing on the undercarriage is pretty fantastic. I mean, you can just see there's a lot going on there uh, in the model. So, uh, kind of moving on up, of course, we get some handrails, we get a mirror, we get grab rails on top of the cab. Uh, we've got your GPS receiver, you've got flasher beacons. Uh, on the sides of the tractor, you've got flasher beacons. We've got a slow moving sign, um, slow moving vehicle sign. We've got uh, rear brake lights and then of course we get a three-point hitch the three-point hitch moves sort of <laughs> is the best way to put it um, so you know maybe if there's a, a griping point that's it the detail is and the interior is super nice I don't know if I can get any show any of that or not eh, we're getting too much glare you know of course you get a steering wheel that's standard seat um, the LCD screen in there as well as some of the control details so you know, these tractors are, in my opinion, very reasonably priced for what you get. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're retailing for right now, but I think I paid 25 or 30 bucks for this. Now, actually, I think I might have paid more than that, but um, so disregard that. But still, you know, this level of detail in a mass-produced tractor is pretty awesome. Uh, just something we haven't seen much of. I know Ertl did their authentic line, but... You know, with with a couple exceptions, I mean the the 450 uh, Case IH was pretty great, and the original one, what was that, a 8430 or something along those lines, that was pretty great. And after that, the pieces have kind of gotten chunky, uh, more plasticky, and maybe not quite as good. So to see Speccast come in and you know really knock one out of the park with these new Challenger tractors is uh, really exciting. I think for all of us in the toy world. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, For the Love of Trackers. You can find us, obviously, on YouTube. That might be where you're watching this. Check us out on Facebook, uh, For the Love of Trackers. Uh, you can also visit our Shapeway stores and get all kinds of really cool parts and implements and things like that for your 164 scale tractors. So that's shapeways.com slash shops slash F-T-L-O-T. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.